Okay, so in this video I will show you how you can use your AirPods Pro, AirPods Pro 2 and also AirPods Max if you want to use them to get better sleep, make you sleep better. You can't use these tips with the normal AirPods or AirPods 3 because your AirPods needs to have noise cancellation. So let's start by going into settings on your iPhone. So go into settings on your iPhone. Here in your settings you have accessibility. And in access accessibility you find AirPods settings. Then go into AirPods Pro settings or AirPods Max. I will show you later on why AirPods Max maybe is not as good as AirPods Pro in this case, but uh, let's start by going into AirPods Pro settings in accessibility. Here down below we have noise cancellation with one AirPod, as you can see there. These settings should be on because that means that you can use just one of these AirPods in your ear at a time and only with one in your ear you can still use noise cancellation. That's very important for what we should do in this video. So if we have that on, that means that you can, if you sleep on the side in the bed at night and for example you have a partner that's snoring or maybe you have some disturbing traffic outside or a annoying neighbor maybe that disturbs you at night so you can't sleep. Then if you have this on, noise cancellation with just one AirPod, that means that you can sleep at the side. If you for example sleep on your right side, you should put in the left AirPods Pro in your ear that means that uh, the ear that is on your pillow gets uh, muted from sound automatically through the pillow and the other ear that you have the airpods pro in gets muted in another way i will show you here in the settings it uses the noise cancellation by doing that then we go into audiovisual setting and from here we go into background sounds. Background sounds place background sounds to mask unwanted environmental noise. These sounds can minimize distractions and help you focus, calm or rest. And for me this setting helps me sleep better. So if we go in here then I can turn background sounds on and now they play a dark noise in my AirPods. So if you have the setting on that you can use just one AirPods Pro in your ear, then it plays a, a sound you choose here in the settings in that AirPod. So that means that it uh, makes you sleep better because you don't hear your partner that's snoring or disturbing traffic or an annoying neighbor. Because one ear is at the pillow and the other is playing a dark noise in your ear, masking the disturbing noise. And this actually helps a lot. Trust me, I know I use this setting a lot because that means that I can sleep much better because I get calm and can finally sleep and not be annoyed by different sounds. And I prefer dark noise settings because that is uh, the perfect frequency for masking out all my disturbing noises around me. You can choose bright noise, balanced noise, and in fact, you can listen to an ocean water and rain water or a stream water 
noise too. I don't personally think these three at the bottom work so good for masking out different sounds because they are not always at the same volume. So I have a hard time masking out the different noises with that. So my suggestion is that you should use balanced noise, bright noise or dark noise in this setting. And if you are a Oh, maybe we should turn this off first, like so. And maybe you are a back sleeper, so you don't sleep at your side. Then I can highly recommend using AirPods Max instead, because then you don't need to lay on your side and mask out different sounds with one ear only because then you can mask out the sound with both ears. Then preferably AirPods Max is much better because it has a much much better battery life so you can have them on from you go to sleep and to when you wake up in the morning and still have plenty of battery life left. You can't do that with AirPods Pro because AirPods Pro doesn't have so much battery life the new AirPods Pro has six hours at the most. You can have them in your ears when you sleep before the battery runs out. Uh, AirPods Pro Original, AirPods Pro 1 that I have here, as you can see here, they only have four hours. So that is not preferably to use with both at the same time when sleeping on your back. So that's why I prefer using these for a side sleeper like me, because then I can first start by sleeping on my right side and have the left AirPods Pro in my ear. And then after a while, uh, maybe I go on the toilet or something, then I can switch to the other AirPods Pro and lay on my left side. That works great. Yes, I know you have to wake up for switching AirPods Pro, but for me that's much better than never go to sleep at all because of some disturbing noises. So AirPods Pro or AirPods Pro 2 are great to use when you sleep on your side. And AirPods Max is great to use when sleeping on your back so i can highly recommend using background sounds to mask out the disturbing noises around you and as i said you can choose different noises here and i can actually guarantee you that this helps this actually helps and to me the volume is best at 60 of course you can raise the volume using just your uh, volume buttons on the side of your phone when taking it on for the first time but preferably i have 60 as a start so this feature background sounds with airpods pro helps me sleep a lot better and I can highly recommend it and I'm sure it would help you too if you have problems sleeping because of some noises around you. This helps, trust me. Okay, bye.